Hello dear friends, this video is, uh, is a story time. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know I'm in a Chinese uh, painting group, online group. There was one artist, I think she did uh, a piece of painting. It's uh, a crab, a cup, cup, leaping over the gate. So, and then uh, she asked, uh, what is the story is about? What is the meaning of it? And uh, this artist is very, uh, is very knowledgeable, but this one is a particular Chinese story. So I would like to, to explain a little bit. So I'm thinking this story is Li Yu. Okay. The... The pen does not have a lot of ink in it. Let me see. Yes, let me continue to write. Li Yu Tiao Long Men Li Yu Li is quay fish or carp. Is this fish? I think this fish has whisker, right? Li Yu Tiao Long Men And the Tiao is to jump Jump in the way In the way, leaping over Men, the gate So there is a dragon gate How to draw a dragon? Dragon has big eyes and long. So this is the dragon gate, and there is a, a little fish. The little quay fish, or little cup, is trying to jump over it. How the story came about and uh, there are many ways of telling this story and there there was even a place where the fish was jumped but I will not make it so complicated there was uh, a movie about it I will took a, a simple and quick route about it and mostly to tell you the morality of it <coughs> once Upon a time, in a big river, Huanghe River, China Yellow River, there were a group of fish, and they were having fun, and they were making friends, and they were having fun, and they jump, because the water is very, um, very rapid water, so the fish was having fun, and, uh, and eating, jumping, playing together. And then they went to one place, and at this place there was a special, huge, rapid and very strong current. And everybody was staying there and, uh, and said, wow, the water was is too strong. We could not go over. And uh, just at this place there was a big, huge gate. And this is a gate, and there were river. Uh, there, there, there were water under the gate, under the gate, and the fish are playing around here. Many fish playing around here, and then there was one red fish. Let me see if I have a red pen. And then there was a red fish, the red fish, I do not have a red pen, how can I tell you the story of a red fish? I am so sorry. Oh, yes, I think I have a purple. So there, hmm, there was a red fish. 
and this red fish. I think her name is Yang Yang. I'm sorry. <laughs> Making up. And the red fish was very brave. And he said, Wow, there was, there is, he said, there is a big gate. I want to see what is behind the big gate. And every fish, everyone said, You see, there is a big gate. And the gate is so high. How, co how can you go over it? And the red fish said, I will jump and leap over and see what is behind the gate. And then every fish said, <clears throat> every fish said, Oh, it will be very dangerous. If you cannot jump that high, you will die. And uh, there will be fire and burn you to death. To death. And then the little red fish said, "If I do not go over it, I will never see what is behind it. And I, my life has a meaning. I want to see and I want to explore. I want to explore new things, new world." And then he said, "I decide." I will jump. Every fish was thinking it's so high and so dangerous. He will die. Every fish was just looking around. And this little fish jumped. But he failed. He took a deep breath and then he jumped again. Pew! Jumped. And then he failed. And then took a lot of strength and finally after many many effort he jumped over as soon as he jumped over do you know what he has seen what he saw he became a dragon and he saw this beautiful landscape beautiful scenery and he became a dragon. So this is the story behind Li Yu Tiao Longmen, the cup leaping over the gate. And the morality, the moral, the moral of this story is never give up. Be courageous. Be brave. When you get over the difficulty, you will become a dragon, you will become something very different, very unique, very great. So that's the story. <clears throat> and after this fish jumped over, he came back to see his friends. And he said, if you make effort, everybody can jump over and everybody can become a dragon. And then everybody went to try. Some made it, some did not make it. The, the fish who made it became dragon. And the fish who did not make it fell down from the jumping and got dark black color on the head. On the head. Black dark scars on the head. So now you see the carp fish. If you see the carp, the fish carp or quay fish, had, uh, has, uh, if you see any fish has black on the back, which is most of the, the, the carp has black on the back, that's the fish that tried to jump but failed. If they jump over if they could jump over, they would become a, a dragon. Okay? So this is a story of it and the morality behind it and, and the moral behind it. And uh, if we took a science, well, kind of science, a science explanation, why the fish jump? Fish 
jumping has many reasons. They are hungry, they are happy, they got pregnant. Well, not pregnant in in the in the breeding season when when it's time for them to make baby, to make new fish, the hormone in their body change, so they become more active, easy to be agitated, so they like to jump. And also sometimes when the water oxygen change, there's too much water, a big uh, big wave, big rapid. Then the water, then the fish got a lot of oxygen, and they become agitated, and they would like to jump. Or maybe they do not have enough oxygen; they feel uncomfortable, would like to jump. So there are many reasons to make the fish jump, and uh, and uh, the story is just uh, using all these. Uh, Use the very good imagination to try to explain a very profound and beautiful meaning and story. Okay, so this is a story behind a uh, cup leaping over the gate. I hope uh, you enjoy it. If uh, uh, I know a lot of friends would like to to watch my video, but I think uh, both of us need to have a break, right? So uh, after this video or after a couple of video, if you do not see you if you do not see, there is no new. Video from uh, from Haiying. I did not upload new video. That's because uh, um, we need a break. Okay, and uh, I hope you enjoy your summer and uh, have a, a wonderful, beautiful time with your family, with your friends. I will not take too much of your time. I try to. Bye bye, friends. Ding ding.